Hey, people. We're doing a liquid hip today. Of course, I'm whispering because both of the boys are sleeping. And I severely cheated. I have lemonade and I have ground wax already on my lid and I already have the gold color here. An inner tear duct all the way over on the brow bone and then a little bit down into the crease. Just using a small eyeshadow brush to do this. And I'm really just patting on the color. I'm not really finding a lot of um, payoff with the, with the hip colors. This is Flare 404. And a small eyesh uh, regular eyeshadow brush and just patting on the orange color into the middle. We're going to go lid all the way up to the, oh, just above the crease. Even though that's not how it looks in the end, um, I find out if I don't match exactly what I did, even though it might be a mistake, um, it just does never match it, so I just redo the mistake. <laughs> Um, this may have to be a part two, because Trevor's making his little noises. Um, but I hope I can bang it out real quick. See? Uh-huh. I know you can't hear the noises, but I can. Okay. Then we're going to take teal. And we're going to use, because teal's such a whoa color, I'm using a small crease brush. And I'm going on the outer V. That much product. Okay, I'm just filling in. I kind of want to make a line. And same up to that crease. Literally making a triangle. I'm not going to talk as much, people, because I don't want to make a part two. And try not to um, blend too much of the color yet, just because it gets washed out and you have to apply it so many times. This eye took like, I don't know, 20 minutes to do. Okay, clean off the brush, then blend this way, orange into the green, all the way up. And then take the bigger eyeshadow brush, bigger crease brush, and do the gold into the orange. I hope you guys can hear me. I know you're probably going to have to turn up your volumes. That's how it's going to have to be from now on, I guess, guys. Touch back into that orange. See, it? like, I lose a lot of color. I'm doing small strokes, but... With the hip, I just, I lose a lot of the color. Okay, that's what I did there. It always goes faster when we do it at the same time. Then I'm taking 217 into mulch, and I have it separate, and I also have it in the palette, because I thought I lost it. Okay. Okay. And going into the crease. And this is why I didn't not do the mistake, because the color is the same over here and over there. Just blend it in. Blend it in. I have to say, the second time around, the second time I do an eye, not the second time, but while I'm doing the other eye, the second eye, I'm happy to say it does come out easier. I guess because that's like the trial eye. You need to see all your mistakes. Okay. I just want to touch in some more of that color. Some more of the orange. I lost some. Small brush. Just... No, I wouldn't go back up into where the mold is. Just in the center of the eye and slightly blend and don't really touch the teal right now because we're going to come back to that what the hell did I do next? oh, lined see this is kind of quick lined with dip 
Oops, uh, I hope I was in video. I mean, in frame. My width dip down, which is max brown, flat brown, blue line. I'm sure the other makeup companies have a flat brown, just like our Mac has, um, what is that one called? Rich Ground or something that has like sparkles in it, liner, brown. This one has no sparkles. Okay, quick liner. Then I'm going to, wow, it's going really quick. Well, then I'm going to, which I always say, and then you know how that goes. Um, this is a posh brush. It's a brow brush. Okay, stiff brushes, bristles. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to take the Smashbox one. Same brow brush, but it's a little bit, the bristles are a little bit longer. Go into the teal and go down here. Okay, you seeing that? And up. Just about to the middle of my eye. A little less than middle because then you're going to bring it in. And then add more teal here on the corner. Right, match, match. Okay. And then blend a little. Small crease brush. Just blend this way. This is the first time you're going to be blending in. Okay. color. just need a touch more here. Even it out. Path. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, I have the Xbox on my cheeks and I have frosted beige and next is dirty but um, frosted beige and next lip gloss. Okay, check it, check it, uh huh. I think I need to blend this a little bit more. Okay. And then also, small crease brush. <sighs> oh. Small crease brush into mulch. Just catch that bottom and blend that harsh line there. Okay. We're also going to do brown on the waterline at the bottom. When I have a lot of steps, I cheat and I and I skip a lot of the um like base stuff just because you guys know what the base stuff looks like. Okay, mascara. Black. Um, if I use brown mascara, it looks like I'm not using anything. Even when I use brown liner sometimes, um, it looks like I don't have liner on. If I do like a brown look, let me turn this a little bit. If I do a brown look, and I use, uh, brown liner, it's totally lost. Like if I do mulch, soba something like that. You can't even see it. So basically it looks like it's not my eyes are not even defined. Alright, and I got a little mascara here. But that's the look. Oops. Turn my camera. Sorry. That's the look. Look at this eye. Hope you guys like it. Um, I think, I hope the lighting doesn't make me look orange right now because that would be really annoying because yesterday's video came out really like, you know, so I tried not to move too much and that I think helps with the orange looking this. And this right here, don't pick. Okay, mind your mothers. Don't pick. Okay, bye guys.